I have sunk so much time into Prison Architect. I love this game so much, but I'll admit it's confusing at first. Look at all these buttons. What? Are, what? Are, why are you giving me so many buttons? I'm actually gonna play this game a little bit, show you how to put together your first basic prison, and show you kind of how to play the game. Hey! <laughs> you hit escape to bring up the main menu. You can create a new prison. My computer cannot handle a large prison. This game starts to slow down, I always stick with medium. If your computer's not so great, definitely go small, that's okay too. But I'm gonna stick with medium for now. For the size of prison that we're gonna be making, doesn't really matter. Fog of War, I play with that on, it's more realistic, it's cool. Uh, generate forests, uh, I turn I turn that off because I don't care. Yeah, I leave the failure conditions on because, you know, I'm playing the game. If you are just learning how to play the game, it is okay to turn unlimited funds on if you just wanna build a prison and see what all the buttons do. But I don't, I don't play with that on because I wanna show people how you can actually make money, you know, playing the normal game. All right, here we go. Play. A couple of things that you should notice at first. If you look in your upper left, you've got a to-do list. I just try to knock out things on the to-do list. That's all I'm ever doing in this game. Here's what we're gonna do first. Read the CEO's letter, why not? Hey, look, he's telling us some stuff. You need a warden, you need some jail cells. We're gonna hit delete to delete that thing. Look, clearing stuff off the to-do list. Next, we got a problem. We got prisoners in 24 hours. But here's the thing. Let's say you wanna build your prison for a little while. You've got $30,000, you wanna spend that money. If you wanna delay those prisoners coming in, you can do that. That. At the bottom right hand corner of the screen, there's an icon that says reports. Click that. Open up the tab that says intake. It should say intake at the top. You see these sliders here? You can turn these sliders all the way down and now look, no one is coming in. Up at the top here now, it says your prison is closed to new inmates. So this means I can spend a few minutes to build as I see fit and not worry about random prisoners running around and, and messing everything up. That means pretty much the to-do list is empty. So what we're going to do is we're going to put some more stuff on the to-do list. Here's how you add things to your to-do list. Go back to reports, bottom right hand corner of the screen, and then you can just go to your grants. Grants are additional tasks that you can take on, and you always want to take on a couple of grants. They give you things to do, and they also give you extra money. Take a look at this one. It says basic detention center. You're going to get $20,000 just for taking this grant. Then you get another $10,000 when it's finished. So definitely click on that. We're going to click on that right now. When I click on it, it adds it to my to-do list. Isn't that easy? I'm also gonna take on this administration center grant. Look, we get an extra $5,000 right away. Boom, got it. So now we've got some extra stuff on our to-do list. Let's start working our way down the list. By the way, WASD moves the camera. Isn't that great? Okay, what's the first thing on the list? Looks like we gotta build a holding cell. When you wanna start building rooms, the first thing you do, you lay some foundations. Bottom left-hand corner, foundations. If you want, you can use brick, or concrete, I don't think it makes a difference, so I think I'm just gonna use concrete, because whatever. First thing we need is a holding cell, right? Let's just make a room. We can always adjust things later, or we can always start over if we don't like it. Just try to make the rooms big enough to fit a bunch of people. You see how big these people are, right? You can't make the room too small. Example of a room that's too small. Look at that room, you can't fit anybody there. I envision this right here to be the holding cell. We're also gonna build a shower, so I think I'm gonna make that the shower. So this is gonna be a shower right here. You need a yard, and eh, you don't really have to make a yard, because yards are outdoors, so I'm not gonna worry about that. The next thing you need is a kitchen and a canteen. I like to put the kitchen as a part of the canteen. So I just make one big room and I'm gonna worry about dividing those up later. Hey look, I've got three rooms. Got a problem though. I didn't build any doors. One opportunity knocks. Doors are found in the objects tab. Check it out, it's right here. It's got like a picture of a box on it. Click on the objects tab. I like to use large jail doors. I almost never use standard jail doors. I don't know, I just, I like the large jail doors. I'm pretty sure you can press R to rotate. Oh look, R, rotate, rotate, rotate. I'm gonna put a door here, put a door here, door here. I'm putting some doors. Once you place some doors, you just wait for your workers to install them. You'll notice that once the door finishes installing, the rest of the building will fill in with a cool cast skating. Look, he's finished the door, steps out of the building. Oh yeah. So now that we've laid down the foundations for these rooms, we have to designate which rooms are which. You do this by clicking the rooms button right here. The first thing we wanted was a holding cell. So you click holding cell. What we're going to do is we're going to box the holding cell. Boom. Just like that. Notice it says holding cell now. We want this big room to be the canteen. We want this thing to be the kitchen. You do need a wall to separate the canteen and the kitchen. So we're going to, we're going to build that right now. See, I'm making a wall to separate the canteen and the kitchen. Uh, my other room was going to be a shower. We're going to select shower. And once again, I'm going to box this room. Hey, look, shower. I also want the canteen to connect to the kitchen. So we're going to put a door. That's a good idea, right? So we can get into the kitchen. We're going to put a door right there. And if you'll notice, I made this example room a little while ago. I'm trying to bulldoze it. You cannot even bulldoze it. This game has some glitches. Sometimes you just got to ignore them. Sometimes you do that for a game you like. Okay, we got some good things and bad things. The good thing at this point is 
We've laid down some foundations, we've zoned the rooms. The problem is that the rooms are not complete until they're furnished. Let's do the holding cell first. If you put your mouse on the room, it'll actually tell you what else the room needs. This room needs a toilet and a bench. Let's give this room a toilet and a bench. These things are found under the objects menu. We're gonna click that objects menu. Oh look, I see the toilet already. Boom, toilet. Man, we're gonna need a bench. Let's put another bench. Actually, you know what else we're gonna need? Probably many more toilets. I'm just gonna to put toilets because I anticipate that when my prisoners come in here, they will need to poop. I just spent a thousand dollars on toilets. But hey, sometimes you need some toilets, you know? All right, let's talk about the shower. Shower needs shower heads. I'm pretty sure you find those under the objects menu also. We have some shower heads. We're gonna put a bunch of shower heads in the shower. Looks like we can have like 10 people showering at once. Don't forget, every shower needs shower drains. Make sure you take some drains, put them near the exit so that water doesn't leak out of the room. All right, what does a kitchen need? Kitchen needs a cooker, a fridge, and a sink. We're going to objects. We're gonna make a cooker, and I'm gonna rotate the cooker so I can put it against the wall. We need a sink. We're gonna put this sink right here, and we're also gonna put a fridge. We're gonna put a fridge in the corner over here. Easy. All right, what does a canteen need? It looks like we need a serving table, normal tables, and a bench. All right, so we're gonna take a serving table. We're gonna take the serving table, and we're gonna put it right here. I think that might be fine. We're gonna put some normal tables here. I, I don't think I made this room big enough, but we're gonna see what happens. And next to each table, we're gonna go ahead and put benches so that people can sit down. It's gonna be a pretty crowded room. I wonder how that's gonna work. Work. All right, it looks like my whole prison is blinking because I don't have any power and I don't have any water supply. Let's take care of that. If you go into the utilities menu right here, you get a little picture of a faucet. Click the faucet. We're going to drop the power station. Uh, we're going to put it a little bit away and we're going to drop the water pump station a little bit away also. These are capacitors. Put the capacitors. You just got to, you got to put all the capacitors. All right. They're installing the power station. We need to lay down some pipes. I only use large pipes. I think they're the best. Drag the pipes and make sure you hit all your toilets and your showers. Look at that, putting down those pipes. Oh, there's also the sink in the kitchen. Got to make sure that that's got a pipe. Look at that, that's a water network. All right, electrical cables. All your rooms need power. Start from your generator. Draw the power lines into each main room. Notice that I don't have to cover every single tile in the room. I can just draw the line straight down. And as long as it runs down the center of the room, it'll actually power the whole room. We're going to let that finish just to see what it looks like. All right, great. Look, the rooms are powered. Oh, I need to connect the appliances directly. So we're gonna connect those. All right, they're connecting the appliances for me. All right, the little lightning bolts have stopped blinking. But I've got a problem with my water because if you notice the water is still blinking, look at those things. Oh, you gotta connect your water pump station to the power station. That's That makes sense. I'm so smart. So once our little guy installs that cable, looks like we got some power and the water is flowing. So when we close the utilities menu by going back to a different menu, our prison is empty but lit. What's next on the to-do list? We need at least two guards. Let's do it. Staff. All right, let's put two guards. Um, we need two cooks. There's some cooks. Hey, look, we got a, almost everything. Oh, I messed up. I forgot to build the yard. Your yard is just an outdoor area. You just go to the rooms tab. We're gonna click on this yard. All we gotta do is draw a yard. Hey, look, it's a yard. The yard is missing one requirement. It has to be secure behind at least one door. So we have to enclose the yard somehow. I like to do that with fences. If you go into your materials tab, it gives you different types of floors and walls. The fence is your cheapest kind of outdoor wall. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a fence around my entire prison because we don't want anybody getting away. I'm gonna draw this fence is going to be the best fence. It's amazing. Notice that there's a gap in the fence near the road because you can't build a fence across the street, but you can put a road gate. That's under objects. Under objects, one of the icons says road gate. If you don't see it immediately, there's a plus sign in the bottom right of this tab. If you click that, more items will show up. Look for the one that says road gate. We're going to put a road gate connecting the fence. Look at that. We're going to put another road gate. So now, I have an enclosed perimeter fence. Check that out. Well, they got to finish building it. When that fence completed, a couple of things happened. First of all, the yard finished being a yard, and now there's no longer an alert telling me that the yard doesn't count. Secondly, my to-do list cleared up, and I got some extra money. So this thing should count as a basic facility, right? Let's see if it works. I'm going to go into reports. I'm going to click intake, and I'm going to bring in some prisoners. I am bringing in six normal security prisoners at 8 a.m. Now we just got to wait for 8 a.m. to get here. Here comes the prisoner bus. Oh, so excited. The second the prisoners step off the bus, my income shoots up to a thousand a day, which is actually not too bad. One of the things that I notice slows down the officers is that they have to open the door and lock the door every single time they pass through it. If you're feeling good about the design of your prison, and if you feel that you've correctly secured the perimeter fence, you might find that opening all the doors actually saves you a little bit of time. I click on all the doors and I set them all to being permanently open. This is kind of a risky move, but it does save a little bit of time. And this is pretty much your basic holding facility. At this point, if you're wondering what to do next, 
I'd say take a look at your to-do list and see if you're happy with it. For example, if you don't want any more prisoners coming in, remember that you can turn the prisoner intake off again by going to the reports menu and clicking on the intake tab. Look at these guys. This guy's named Darkthorn. Let's click on him. See his file. He has 44 ex-wives, 19 daughters, 25 sons, 28 more daughters, and 71 mothers. Holy cow, this guy's had a busy life. I don't even know how you get 71 mothers. Hey, looks like all my prisoners got fed. Pretty sweet. Since I want to build some more in a little bit, I'm going to turn off my prisoner intake. And at this point, we got to remember that we can take another grant. I guess the next thing we want to do is just the health and well-being grant. So just click on that one. Gives you extra money. From this point, what you want to do is work your way down your to-do list. If I end up doing a part two, I'm just going to continue working my way through the to-do list from where I am right now. Thanks for watching. Hope you found this helpful. What is happening? Oh no! Chafer overdosed on drugs and I haven't hired any doctors yet.